Hi, my name is Roman and today I'm going to demonstrate you the new features of Spider Pro. The first one is possibility to add additional nodes along Y or Z sites during the creation of Origent links. Uh, in the current version of the Spider, in the regular Spider, not Spider Pro, we will obtain a uh, rigid links like this one. This is um, the pattern is uh, predefined is ba in, and based on the ratio between columns width and uh, depths. And now if I have for example a dense mesh and I want to adjust uh, these nodes, I can do this using this option. So I will add one node along y direction and along z direction i would like to add uh, four nodes it will be like this then we press create spider and we have what we was expected now the next feature if we have for example uh, if we have for example a uh, beam that connected to and that connected to panel or it may be a column like this one not a rectangular uh, RC column and we want to connect it use it rigid link to this uh, wall for example we can do like this we will switch to the options bar 3d then we will select what and we would like to use for example this one on the end of this link next we will select uh, dimension of bars if we have rc beams or columns uh, the dimension of these bars will be uh, taken automatically but in case of any other sections we have to uh, input dimensions uh, here we have for example these dimensions then we will select the bar uh, ah oh, oh, we have to add additional number of the nodes and then we will create the spider so it's okay uh, but uh, in case if we have a slanted column or we have a situation like this one if we will uh, proceed with the same algorithm for example like this we will see that the our nodes are out of plan so uh, we must to select this option projection on the plane then we have to get the panel number we can uh, input manually or we can select the panel and get number automatically then we will select uh, bar or bars and press create spider. In this case, uh, all nodes will be generated in the plane and also uh, these dimensions. It's like a projection of the bar shape on this plane. And we will see if we extend this line, it will be definitely this node. Okay, the next feature is a little improvement of uh, existing options. Now uh, we can use such options for all bars, not only for um, rectangular. For example, for rectangular we have like this and for this bar we have to add uh, some dimension like this one okay uh, next options uh, it's called like extender in some cases we want to uh, change the change the length of uh, selected bars uh, for example I would like to extend uh, all uh, of these two bars by uh, zero five meters in both uh, in both uh, directions 
I have to select bars. Uh, then I would like to input the value in the field, but uh, here we have to work in the local coordinate systems of the bar. So uh, we have a positive x direction and negative x direction. It will, if we want to extend uh, in this side, we have to input the negative value, then check boxes, press extend, and we will see that here bar will extend for um, expected value. And the nodes will be shifted. No additional nodes was uh, was not genera generated. Okay, let's check the another options. Uh, it is a connection bar to plane. Uh, these options, for example, this one, if we have a column, we have uh, walls. Uh, for example, we have this apart from Revit and we want to we would like to correct the analytical models by using rigid links. For example, we have to select uh, panels first, check multiple panels to get panels numbers or we can input uh, manually. Then we will check do we need a rigid link on start or on or the end of the column. If we have a spider, uh, so we maybe no need at the top of the column. So I will check only in the start, then we will select uh, distance between the nodes along the length of the bar, then we'll select the bar, press connect, and what we will see that the rigid links will be generated, nodes, additional nodes were created and connected to the bar. And the last options how we can use uh, this feature is for example if we have two um, GRC slabs and in, in in different levels and they should work as one slab so we have to connect all of them by rigid links uh, we can model any bar then we will select this bar check all options uh, we have to get the panel number it's one panel and we no need this bar we will select delete selected bars select bars press connect and the panels will be connected using rigid links so this is uh, all major improvements stay tuned bye bye